Hey, what's up guys? So I have a bit of a fun video today. We're gonna be opening up some Pokemon cards. And uh, I just wanna take a moment here before I start the video to just say that for people that don't have like a million packs to open and we get the cards that we want, those moments can be really special and that's something you're gonna see in this video. So I only bought four packs, but I got the two hits that I wanted and uh, I'm recording this after that and you're gonna kind of see my reaction. I get really, really hyped up. And yeah, so I just wanna do a shout out to those moments cause you know, I, like most of us, I love watching, you know, TikToks where they're opening millions of packs at a time. And there's nothing wrong with that. I actually really love those videos, but um, just shout out to like me being like a child in this video and just open in a few packs, not much, but get in the cards I really wanted and just being like, kind of like, wow, I was not expecting that. Cause I've had like, I think I opened the most I did was like 16 packs maybe. And you know, getting good cards, but it's almost like you become desensitized to it. Cause you kind of expect it almost. So when you just buy four packs or two packs or one pack or whatever, it's almost like gambling or well, it is gambling, but you know, and you, you get those cards and it's just, man, what a what an awesome moment. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. And just remember that no matter what you're doing, if you're buying a lot of packs or not a lot of packs, uh, it's so much fun. And uh, I just want to share this with you guys because I was not expecting to get the two cards I really wanted. I still don't even know how much they're worth. I haven't looked it up and it's not about the money. And that's what's fun about this video. So. I love you guys, let's get straight into it. All right guys, so I just went to this new Pokemon shop today and it was super, super awesome. Um, I got myself, nothing crazy, but I got myself some boss's orders, just a little holographic for my deck, so that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna put these in the sleeves at the end of the video and uh, just do it in a little chit chat, so stay tuned for that, that'll be fun. But. Before we get into that, I've got some packs here. I've got two Crown Zenus and two Pokemon Fusion Strikes. So that's what we're gonna open right now. All right, let's get into it. So Fusion Strike. Upside down, let's go like this. I know Professor Ronnie is proud of me. One, two, three, four, on the bottom. All right, so here we go. Start off with an electricity. Fusion Strike, Lesso Sparkles, I love that. And uh, ooh, I think I might have seen something fancy back there. Lulai, Dupider, Meowth, Onyx, uh, Chudo, and Reverse Hollow Corviknight, and Kegastad, Rapid Strike. Let's have a look at this guy. So let's throw this into a little sleeve. Any card that isn't just a normal, I like to put in a sleeve. And uh, yeah, Ooh, actually this thing was kind of dirty. Yeah, put that one on the side. Let's go to the next fusion strike. So when I was originally trying to open these, I don't know why, but I was trying to pinch right here on the side and then pull open. I didn't realize that I can just open them like that. I feel like I was, I, I don't know why. I was always wondering, I was like, how are people doing it so fast? But one, two, four, it's actually not that hard to do. So here we go. Dark, bug catcher, got a fusion strike, and you know what? If I focus, just. And this is what we want to see right here. Turner, Luna. Yowth, that's right. Marrow, got a Heliptile, got a Wu. Come on, focus. Reverse Hollow Geo, dude. My focus doesn't care, and. Oh, oh, we got something. Oh, hell yes! Oh my god, this is sick! This is literally the card. Oh my god, come on, focus. Don't fuck up on me right now. I literally went to the Pokemon store today to get this card and they didn't fucking have it. And I specifically bought a, a pack like this telling myself that maybe I would get this card. This is too cool. I actually, I'll be honest, I don't know how much this card is worth. I'll put it in the corner here. 
but this is literally literally the pull card i was looking for this is insane this is oh, i'm so happy right now this is so cool this is actually i don't know why i put in this it's gonna go into the fusion strike uh, thing but this is madness absolute madness i'm so happy right now when you want very specific cards and you get them that's just the best feeling they don't even have to be super expensive or anything when you're chasing a card and you get it that is such a fun such a fun feeling i'm so happy i'm so happy i decided to record this what an awesome moment all right let's keep going only four packs but i literally got the card i wanted i mean that is just oh you see i don't know if it's because my hands got sweaty but there we go all right well spoiler we got a sunken <laughs> so that's the side ah, that is so cool one two three four on the bottom flip it all right let's go like this again so i know for some people they'll be like oh that's not a crazy card but that is literally of all the cards i could have gotten that was the one i wanted i am so happy right now i can't wait to share this with the gang and what the fuck this is sick radiant returns what the fuck what? this is crazy what the fuck these are sick these are sick hits right here what is going on yo i got the lucky pack man ray radiant internus and a duraladon yo my hands are sweating so bad right now i like don't even want to touch these cards this is look how oh my god come on focus don't don't mess up on me now focus is like its own entity in my videos and on my stream beautiful card absolutely beautiful card that is so cool Oh, I hope that's not on the inside. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. I don't know if this pack... You know what? I feel like my cat probably played with this pack. I'm not gonna mess around. Okay, I'll do this after. This card here... Yeah, I gotta get myself a mat. I have one coming in from... Uh, from... Uh, the... The Dao Do, the Duty, the... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture in over here. It's a really beautiful card. Damn, I'm realizing that all my packs here are kind of dusty. Come on, Focus. Don't do me wrong. We've been through so much together, Focus. You... Seriously? Seriously, that's what, that's what you're doing to me, Focus? After everything we've been through? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, guys, last pack for the day. Ah, oh, shit, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. There we go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four on the bottom. Switch, ooh, psychic energy. With a little thingy majiggy, very cool. Okay, we've got here, come on, focus. Come on, focus. Now you're now you're just trying to be hard for no reason. Girafidar, Ultra Ball, Corfish, Pokeball, Whalmer, Ponwin Yard, Larvesta. Ooh, this is if I'm not mistaken, this is the this is so sick. I actually use this deck this card in my uh, in my deck, and I don't have it. Uh, they take 20 less damage for Fusion Strike, and I think this is the. Alt, alt art? I'm, I'm not sure, but this is a beautiful card too. I think this is a lot worth a lot more than I realized, and it's such a cool artwork. And last but not least, a little spoiler alert. Yeah, just in that line of rock. Wow, look at how freaking cool this card is. This is so sick. So I'm not sure how much this is worth. Price in the corner here. But uh, this is a sick card, and it's a card I'm going to be using in my deck. I, I hope it's... This is going to sound counterintuitive. I hope it's not like worth a billion dollars because I want to I want to use it in my deck all the time. And uh, yeah, because I'm running Mew uh, Fusion Strike right now and uh, Mew VMAX. And I actually don't have an Auricurio, which is why I bought Fusion uh, Strike and uh, Crown Zenith. So really, really cool. In fact, man, let's just take a look at all these sick cards that I just pulled. So, 
focus. Now you gotta you gotta not do me dirty. Thank you. A beautiful fusion strike or Recreo with that ability that I desperately need for my view my Mew deck. Uh Dura Ludon VMAX, that's hard to say. Elation's fucking sparkle, that's so sick. I'm so happy. Oh my god. And uh Radiant Eternus, also a really sick card. Like this is awesome. And Reverse Hollow Geodude and Reverse Hollow Corviknight. Is it is it bad of me that I'm not as excited about these ones? But you know, reverse hollows are still really cool. I don't know how much they're worth, probably like a couple cents, but but Elisa's fucking Sparkle! This is so sick. This is one of my favorite cards. It's so freaking good in the Mew deck. It's so like you couldn't even run that deck without this card, so too cool and the fact that i don't have a recreo and i have him right here is just too crazy now i'm scared that i'm gonna look at the prices of these cards and be like i can't play these in my deck and they're gonna get all bent and shit but yeah too cool you know what i'll do just for now just because i'm not sure oops um let me just throw these in some protectors just to be extra safe, you know? Because you're never too careful when it comes to cards. It's like the famous story of like people throwing out Gen 1 Pokemon cards not realizing that some of the cards are worth like thousands of dollars, you know? Like, oh, 30 years ago, my son used to collect Pokemon cards. Huh, what a baby. Yeah, I threw them out in the dumpster. Like, use them for kindling. One really cold summer. You're like, what'd you do with those cards? All right. Sorry if that was loud on your ears. There we go. Ah, they feel so good when they're in this. I wonder if I could play a full deck like this. Is that, e is that even allowed? If I just want to protect all my cards? I don't know if that's allowed. I don't even think I can mix them. But I, I, I shuffle my cards the lame child way because I care too much about the health of my cards. Eventually all my cards are gonna have one side that's like fucked up and one side that's fine. So very cool, very, very cool. And uh, just shout out to Chandelier, very cool card. Alrighty. So, I feel bad not putting the Geodudes in the whole thing, but they're not on the special list yet, so. All right, so that's what I was saying. And the next thing we're gonna do, like I said at the end of the video so all the hype about the cool cards is is there now we are going to take my current deck and we're going to transfer the cards so the card I have bought oh, look at that look at that so what I also really want is I want a holographic fusion strike and uh, but yeah I'm not sure and I also would really like a holographic VIP pass which I'm not sure if that exists or if there's just the full art and in my deck i love this card look how cool it is i have the dancer card which is also one of my favorite cards um it's funny when i first started playing the game i was like pretty unaware of how to build a deck and i just had like i would have like a million pokemon a million energies i was like i'm not gonna waste my time with trainer cards but now holding now look, now I love trainer cards more than the Pokemon cards. Uh, this is odd, is there no boss's orders in here? There we go, boss's orders. Uh, seriously, oh there we go, boss's orders, boss's orders. And I think I only have three holographic ones. So. Now the next step to add a cool twist to my deck is to be to get like cool like coins and stuff like that. So here we go. So I bought these cards. Uh, the lady working there was super nice. These are holographic because and she said normally they're like a dollar each, but I guess because it was my first time going to her store, she was being extra nice and she gave them to me for eighty cents each. So you know. That was really nice of her. It's not something she had to do. I didn't try and bargain on price. And 
you know, stores, it's not like they're making like the craziest amount of money and stuff, but they're passionate about what they do. And the feeling I got was that, you know, she's like, oh, here's a potential customer, a future customer. And it's just a nice little thing to do. It was very kind of her. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I look forward to going back there for getting a lot more cool cards. And uh, yeah, so this is the last one. This here, look how beautiful this card is. Now, the card I really want is this one, but I want it to be Giovanni. That's my ultimate goal. And unfortunately, this one is not holographic. I'm like, maybe I should get rid of this one and have like a different card. Oh, actually, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I want to check the prices on these first. I mean, I know I'm just going to end up putting them in my deck anyways, even if they're worth a lot. It's kind of like a mad flex. But, uh... Yeah, let me let me check the prices first, and then we'll we'll make some executive decisions. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to film. This is kind of not the normal content I make. This is just kind of like a talk, as I do something that I'm pretty passionate about. And uh, yeah, and guys, so glad I took. I'm so happy I took the. Um, the camera out to film this because you know when you're opening a million packs and you're expecting to get your hits it's like it's exciting but when you four i bought four packs and i got these two hits and these are two cards i absolutely wanted i didn't necessarily want the um holographic or rikuro but the fact that i got it and it's like this holographic and i think this might be the alt art i'm really really not sure or whatever it's called when it's like kind of different holographic um and this is just so cool so very very fun moment very special and i'm super happy to have caught it on camera and anyone who watches this video gets to experience that with me so that's really really cool so guys i'll see you in the next one more pokemon content coming up love you all as normal and yeah see you guys later